Doctrine and Covenants, Section 84, Part 2. And again, the offices of elder and bishop are necessary appendages belonging unto the high priesthood. And again, the offices of teacher and deacon are necessary appendages belonging to the lesser priesthood, which priesthood was confirmed upon Aaron and his sons. Therefore, as I said, concerning the sons of Moses, for the sons of Moses, and also the sons of Aaron, shall offer an acceptable offering and sacrifice in the house of the Lord, which house shall be built unto the Lord in this generation, upon the consecrated spot, as I have appointed. And the sons of Moses and of Aaron shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, upon Mount Zion, in the Lord's house, whose sons are ye. And also many, whom I have called and set forth to build up my church. For whoso is faithful unto the obtaining these two priesthoods of which I have spoken, and the magnifying their calling, are sanctified by the Spirit unto the renewing of their bodies. They become the sons of Moses and of Aaron and the seed of Abraham and the church and kingdom and the elect of God. And also all they who receive this priesthood receive me, saith the Lord. For he that receiveth my servants receiveth me. And he that receiveth me receiveth my Father. And he that receiveth my Father receiveth my Father's kingdom. Therefore all that my Father hath shall be given unto him. And this is according to the oath and covenant which belongeth to the priesthood. Therefore all those who receive the priesthood receive this oath and covenant of my Father which he cannot break neither can it be moved. But whoso breaketh this covenant after he hath received it, and altogether turneth therefrom, shall not have forgiveness of sins in this world, nor in the world to come. And woe unto all those who come not unto this priesthood which ye have received, which I now confirm upon you who are present this day, by mine own voice out of the heavens. And even I have given the heavenly hosts and mine angels charge concerning you. And now I give unto you a commandment to beware concerning yourselves, to give diligent heed to the words of eternal life. For you shall live by every word that proceedeth forth from the mouth of God. For the word of the Lord is truth, and whatsoever is truth is light, and whatsoever is light is spirit, even the spirit of Jesus Christ. And the spirit giveth light to every man that cometh into the world, and the spirit enlighteneth every man through the world that hearkeneth to the voice of the spirit. And every one that hearkeneth to the voice of the Spirit cometh unto God, even the Father. And the Father teacheth him of the covenant which he has renewed and confirmed upon you, which is confirmed upon you for your sakes, and not for your sakes only, but for the sake of the whole world. And the whole world lieth in sin, and groaneth under darkness, and under the bondage of sin. And by this you may know they are under the bondage of sin, because they come not unto me. For whoso cometh not unto me is under the bondage of sin. And whoso receiveth not my voice is not acquainted with my voice, and is not of me. And by this you may know the righteous from the wicked, and that the whole world groaneth under sin and darkness, even until now. 
and your minds in times past have been darkened because of unbelief and because you have treated lightly the things you have received. Which vanity and unbelief have brought the whole church under condemnation? And this condemnation resteth upon the children of Zion even all. And they shall remain under this condemnation until they repent and remember the new covenant, even the Book of Mormon and the former commandments which I have given them, not only to say, but to do, according to that which I have written, that they may bring forth fruit, meat for their Father's kingdom, otherwise there remaineth a scourge and judgment to be poured out upon the children of Zion. For shall the children of the kingdom pollute my holy land? Verily I say unto you, Nay. Verily, verily, I say unto you, who now hear my words, which are my voice, Blessed are ye, inasmuch as you receive these things. For I will forgive you of your sins with this commandment, that you remain steadfast in your minds in solemnity and the spirit of prayer, in bearing testimony to all the world of those things which are communicated unto you. Therefore, Go ye into all the world, and unto whatsoever place ye cannot go, ye shall send, that the testimony may go from you into all the world unto every creature.